النهارده ان شاء الله نتكلم عن الانترناشونال ماركتنج تشانلز و ستارتنج ويز ذا تشانل اوف ديستريبيوشن ستراكشر ذا ستراكشر اوف ذا تشانل اور ديستريبيوشن تشانل ديفينيتلي تشينج فروم كونتري تو كونتري اند ذا مين فاكتور اور ذا اجريمنت بتوين اول ذا تشانلز از the behavior of channel members is uh, a consequence or a result of the interaction between the cultural environment and marketing process. Anyway, we have three process for distribution channel. These are physical handling and distribution of goods, um, the passage of ownership or title, and third one or the third process the buying and the selling negotiation between producer between uh, producers and middlemen from one side and between the middlemen and the customers from the other side uh, the channel structure range from those with little developed marketing infrastructures uh, such as those found in many emerging markets or um, less developed countries to highly complex or multi-layered systems uh, like those found in Japan and the USA and so on. International distribution systems uh, we have three systems for inter international distributions and uh, these systems can be characterized by the distribution structure and each of these three types are described uh, we'll, we'll talk in details about each one of these so these uh, three systems are import oriented distribution structure this first one the second one uh, initially found in Japan and uh, in invented by uh, Japanese sellers we call it tight distribution structures the third one trends or from traditional to modern channel structure so we'll talk Uh, about each one of these three systems uh, in the following slides. Starting with the first one, import-oriented distribution structure. In import-oriented or traditional uh, distribution structure, this is the traditional uh, system, our importer controls a fixed supply of goods. Again, the importer, el mustaurid, controls a fixed supply of goods. The marketing system develops around the philosophy of selling a limited supply of goods at high prices to a small number of affluent customers. Again, the philosophy of this strategy uh, focuses on selling few products to limited, uh, to, uh, limited customers. So you have limited supply of the goods. In this case, you can raise rise the price and sell to small number of fluent customers. So, in the resulting of seller market, market penetration and mass distribution are not necessary in this case, because demand always uh, exceeds supply, and in most cases, and actually the seller wants the situation is still like this. The uh, seller always needs the demand exceeds to supply. Why? Because In this strategy, he focused to sell few products to a uh, few middlemen and he has many customers. In this case, he can uh, raise the price and make high profits from a uh, few number of products. Uh, again, in import-oriented uh, distribution structure, Uh, the customer seeks to the supply from a limited number of middlemen and this affects the development of intermediaries and their functions. So distribution uh, systems are local rather than uh, national in scope. Uh, channel structures in countries that have historically evolved from an import-oriented these will usually have a vestige of their beginning reflected in less than fully integrated uh, system. Um, the relationship between the importer and any middleman in the marketplace is considerably different from a mass marketing system. Uh, the importer performs all the functions. Uh, 
okay so uh, yeah uh, i think uh, china uh, is evolving from such a structure where japan is on the other extreme we will uh, explain how uh, japan distribute or follow distribution channel right now So this is the one Japanese distribution uh, structure. Uh, the density of middlemen, uh, retailers, and wholesale sellers in Japan market is unparalleled in any Western in the, uh, industrialized industrialized country. So distribution in Japan has long been considered the most effective non-tariff barriers to the Japanese market. The Japanese distribution structure is different enough from its in US and Europe. So uh, there are few uh, four distinguishing features for a Japanese distribution structure, which are a structure dominated by many small middlemen dealing with many uh, small retailers. Second, a channel controlled by manufacturers. Uh, third, a business philosophy shaped by a unique culture. Fourth, laws that protect the foundation of the system. Yeah, uh, Japanese distribution uh, structure depend on few middlemen and few channel to control that controlled by manufacturers uh, but I think now this is changing slowly due to um, MIT or Ministry of International Trade and Industry MIT uh, in Japan uh, now they move to specialty stores uh, huge or massive supermarkets uh, discounters, convenience stores, and in this case, uh, the distribution channel is uh, increased because each one of these huge supermarkets uh, try to uh, contain all the products. So that's why they have many distribution channels now for most of the products. Channel control in Japanese distribution system, they control the uh, distribution system by uh, four elements, inventory financing, Cumulative rebates, uh, merchandise returns, promotional support. So, uh, Japanese system they have four uh, elements they can use to maintain control uh, above the distribution system. The third one, so we have told we have uh, three distribution channels. The third one, from traditional to modern um, channel structures. Traditional channel structures still appear in many places. Anyway, yeah, most of all the places they still use traditional channel structure, uh, like in Egypt right now. But such channel structures also are giving way to new forms, new alliance, and a new process. They're trying to uh, change it or update it um, slowly. Direct marketing, so these are examples for the uh, modern channel structure direct marketing door-to-door -door selling hypermarkets discount uh, houses houses shopping malls catalog selling the internet and other distribution methods are being introduced in attempt to provide efficient distribution channels uh, importers and retailers also are becoming more involved in new product development uh, the the um, examples of modern channel structures like large hypermarkets like Carrefour in Egypt and uh, stores like Tesco in Britain are moving retail banking into their stores. They have now banks in their stores. Uh, with online retailers like eBay, uh, Priceline and Amazon, distribution channels have become shorter and faster. Uh, Walmart has expanded all over the world now stores like uh, Costa or moving into Europe because of the high margins. Now we uh, need to sp speak about uh, different uh, learning, uh, learning object, which is distribution patterns. So uh, the traditional system will not change overnight. Definitely, they need uh, time to change from traditional system to modern system. Uh, but nearly all international firms are forced by the structure of the market to use at least some middlemen in the distribution arrangement. 
So uh, the, the modern distribution channels need to eliminate some of the middlemen because this will result in uh, reduced price because each one of these middlemen in between the producer and the final uh, consumer, uh, this one, each one of those middlemen will add uh, some cost to the price to make a profit and by the end of the day, the price will increase to the final customer. Because the, uh, the structure arrangements of foreign and domestic distribution seem alike, doesn't mean that foreign channels are smaller uh, to domestic channels. The difference in retail patterns is an example of the variety of distribution patterns that exist at all levels. Uh, retail patterns, retail, um, retailing shoes, even greater diversity in its structure than does wholesaling. Size patterns, uh, large dominant retailers can be sold to directly, but there is no adequate way to reach small retailers who in the aggregate handle a great volume of sales. I think this is a natural case because, uh, like in Egypt here, we have many uh, from those uh, small retailers and those small retailers um, in aggregate, they handle most or a great volume exactly of sales, uh, but we don't have dominant retailers, we, we don't have too much, like we have Carrefour, we have some of, of these uh, dominant retailers in some malls, but most of the, uh, the sales uh, accounts are aggregated from these uh, small distributed retailers. Underdeveloped countries present similar problems. Yeah, this is the case in the most of emerging uh, markets and uh, developing countries. The rate of change appears to be directly related to the stage and speed of economic development. Uh, in Italy and Morocco, retailing is composed largely of specialty houses that carry narrow lines, whereas in Finland, most retailers carry um, a more uh, general line of merchandise. In uh, retailer uh, retail patterns, we need to distinguish between direct selling and uh, resistance to change. These are two uh, features related to uh, retailers. Uh, direct selling through uh, catalogs um, have proved to be a successful way to enter from markets. Uh, for example, in Japan, it has been an important way to break the trade barriers imposed by the Japanese distribution systems. So sometimes called direct marketing, selling directly to the consumer through mail, by telephone or door to door, is often the approach in markets with insufficient or underdeveloped uh, distribution system. The approach works well in the most affluent markets too. This is uh, direct selling. But in comparison, we have resistance to change. Uh, old fashioned or traditional way in distribution always resist uh, the direct selling efforts to, uh, efforts to improve the efficiency of the distribution systems new types of middlemen and other attempts to change traditional ways are typically viewed as threatening and uh, threatening uh, threatening and are thus resist so these are uh, resistance to change and this is a natural thing for any uh, new approach or any new thing uh, always we have uh, res resistance to change Okay, I think uh, this is uh, enough for this lecture and next one we will talk about the uh, alternative middlemen choices. Thank you.